This is the second narrated presentation for Module 9, Ecology, the Science of the Ecosystem. Ready to get started? During this module, we will discuss population density, the types of dispersion patterns, growth models, factors that regulate growth in natural populations, as well as other topics related to ecology. Remember, a population is the collection of all individuals of a particular species that breed and interact with each other. A population ecologist studies the changes of populations and the biotic and abiotic factors that are responsible for those population changes. Population dynamics is the study of a changing population. Population dynamics may be affected by other populations of organisms such as a predator moving into an area or abiotic factors like clouds blocking sunlight. Prey is the term for an organism that is consumed for food by another organism. Predators are the organisms that eat other organisms for nutrients and energy. Population size is the number of individuals that comprise a population is, and is denoted by a capital N. Population density is the number of organisms in a population divided by the area that the population is distributed. The higher the population density, the closer together individuals are to each other on average. The mathematical equation for population density is N over area, which is the population size divided by area. Population density may be measured in several ways, including making a sample plot and indirect measurements. Sample plots involve the direct measurement of one or more areas and estimating the overall population density based on those measurements. Indirect measurements involve measuring some factors related to the number of organisms such as dwellings. This example would use the measurement of dwellings to estimate the number of animals by estimating the number of animals found in each dwelling. This example explains how population ecologist actually measures population density. Dr. Young wants to determine the population density of field mice in a certain area. She creates sample plots and picks one plot that looks like it has an average number of mice on it. Then she counts the number of mice in this sample plot. Next, the population density is determined by multiplying the sample plot population density by the number of sample plots. In this example, she divides the total 10 square mile plot into 10 1 by 1 square mile sample plots. She chooses one average plot and counts five mice. She then multiplies the five mice by ten sample plots and concludes that there are approximately 50 mice in the 10 square mile area. Read the example more closely for more information. This diagram illustrates how one sample plot is used to measure population density then that density is used to estimate all other areas. This method may give erroneous measurements because the actual population may not be equally dense through the entire area. Dispersion patterns describe how population is distributed throughout an area. Populations may be dispersed in a clumping pattern, a uniform pattern, or a random pattern. This diagram shows a population dispersed in clumps, with many individuals found in some areas, but none found in others. A uniform dispersion pattern means the population is generally found in equal density over an area. A random dispersion pattern is just that, random. Some individuals may be clumped, or some may be solitary. Populations with a random dispersion pattern are the most difficult to estimate. Population size may change over time due to a number of different factors. Birth and immigration with an I both increase population size, while death and immigration with an E both decrease population size. 
Estimating population size is important to determine how different events may be measured per capita or per individual. Populations are assumed to be closed when they are examined. This means populations do not breed or interact with other populations. Growth of populations over time may be recorded. Exponential growth assumes the population increases by a particular percentage each year. Thus, the more individuals present, the more individuals born. Linear growth occurs when a population increases by a fixed number each year regardless of population size. Population growth is influenced by several factors. Limiting factors impede the growth of a population and they include the carrying capacity of an ecosystem. The carrying capacity is defined as the maximum population size that may be sustained in an ecosystem. A bust is a decrease in population size while a boom is an increase in population size. This slide reviews important terms relating to population dynamics and how they can be measured by population ecologists. Here are more topics relating to attributes of populations and how those attributes can be measured for changes over time.